Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our look at Portal Knights. I am Rich Walker, this is Don Pepiat, and we're going to take you through what we played of the game. This is the character creator, obviously, I'm making a kind of it's you. little version of myself, you. Yeah, yeah, you can tell, right? A little so, version of Rich. little angry looking beardy fella <laughs> called Billy, because uh, we always call our character Billy Rosero. That's just this how we roll. It's now a, a tradition, isn't it? A time Absolutely. So yeah, if you're playing the trial version today, because it is available now on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, this is the first island that you get to enjoy, and it's a lovely green and verdant land, so fertile, full of flowers and grass. Does that trial let you, is it just the first level, is it just this area? It's this first island, cool. yeah, but there's plenty to explore. Look, this is the same island, there's a big sort of mine to me type area underneath. Nice. And like Minecraft, you can place little blocks nice. and build stuff. Uh, this is wonderful. I love, I love the aesthetic. It looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? It's nice, isn't it? It's <coughs> nice high resolution textures. It's not like Minecraft, yeah. which is, you know, it's all that kind of pixely 8-bit style yeah. 3D. It's got some personality to it, and I really enjoy that. It uh, reminds me quite a lot of uh, Dragon Quest Builders, actually. Yeah, on the kind of level of uh, Minecraft kind of clones on the spectrum, it's definitely down that end. It's less kind of in the... Uh, Minecrafty camp. Yeah. Uh, it's more Dragon Questy builders, and you know you got all these crafting menus and stuff. You've got quests you can do, uh, loads of different areas to explore. There's a lot to it. Um, so yeah, as you'll see in this video, we start out with a basic wooden sword, and that's how we're doing our mining and cultivating various things like trees and stuff. But what you really need is a proper stone you need pickaxe. Specific tools, don't you? They're gonna make yeah. things a lot easier. I guess again, like it's yep. it's full bears, you know, like yeah. Minecraft, like Dragon Quest Heroes. Absolutely. And a bit like, uh, so am I right in thinking that the mechanic is you've got to get portal stones uh, through the levels, and they can allow you to move to the next zone. That is correct. Area? Yeah, you can either find sort of portal stones uh, complete in their entirety by mining, or you'll find fragments more commonly, and then you can craft. Uh, the cubes, um, you know, from the fragments, um, and you do that via a workbench, and that is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm trying to get some wood to what repair this. Link. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. What a segue. Yeah, I'm trying to get some wood together to repair this broken workbench, so then I can craft stuff. I can, you know, uh, sort out these um, portal stones and get to the next area. Nice. Uh, because so there's missing stones in the portal. I've got to slot them oh, back into place up, yeah yeah i quite like that so it gives you more direction and more of a drive than something like minecraft which is non-linear and just kind of you know yeah i get i like the creative thing i understand that you yeah. want to create things and make things but i i kind of grew up in the generation of games that have always been story based or yeah lead me somewhere this is sort of the best of both worlds you got quests you got all these rpg mechanics you can upgrade your guy uh or girl <laughs> uh and you know craft armor and better weapons and all sorts it's uh quite in depth. Yeah, it does seem quite in depth. Like so many tabs here on the menu. It's Absolutely. And I've just crafted myself a little stone pickaxe e so I can mine with ease. So these levels are all uh, randomly generated, right? No two They are indeed. The same. You're very knowledgeable, Tom. It's, <laughs> like, it's like we've done this voiceover before, perhaps. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just found a little secret cubby hole here as well with a treasure chest in it. No, so that's that, quite cool, isn't that it? That is cool. The fact that you can get those, like, uh, I'm just gonna, it's going to make me want to mine everywhere. Yeah, and exactly. And everything. It's very uh, <laughs> addictive. I think it's yeah. going to be quite uh, compelling. I wonder if anyone's mined out every single block in the world. Or if that's even possible. Probably not. That's a look at the crafting menu again. So you, you might have seen the character attributes you can upgrade as well there. So that's another RPG element coming into play. You level up. You earn XP by leveling up. And then you can uh, boost your attributes, so you'll have more health, stamina, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like that, again, talking about progression and stuff. Leveling up is such a nice way of kind of keeping a track, yeah. giving you a personal goal, you know? Absolutely. Uh, and this is a sort of first go at the combat. This is your little training dummy, Harold. Poor Harold. <clears throat> you can lock onto enemies, slice them up. Uh, you got a little dodge roll. It's mm. kind of... I don't want to say Dark Souls because uh, yeah, nothing's uh, really like Dark Souls. <laughs> but it's the you know there are aspects of it so that got, are Dark Soulsy. You got a dodge roll in there. Does that have like an, an invulnerability frames and stuff? Oh so man, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's quite <laughs> nice. A, good, a little an extra depth of combat rather than yeah. just walking around and going. Oh no, I need to retreat. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but it, more I mean, the combat is sort of basic. You, you're mashing one button really, but it's like you've got little dodge rolls and stuff. Kind of. Yeah, yeah sure. Let, let's. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, so that's pretty cool though. It's um. <laughs> It seems like a nice setup. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the last uh, blue portal stone for this particular portal. But when you 
activate oh. a portal, oh. all sorts of invading wrath, as they call it, comes yeah. into the into the world. So you've got these hollow knights to deal with. Damn, they're strong, man. They're not and they're the tricky, and I'm down to a quarter of a heart, so I'm legging it out of there. Necking a potion. Uh. Uh, but I'm still legging it. And I can't really, I think I kicked his ass. Yeah, 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 I destroyed him. Oh, just about. Oh, wait a minute, no. Ah! Oh because the potions have a cooldown, see, so you can't just nail potions. That's pretty cool. I like that. So it's got a yeah. more balance as an RPG. There's a bit of strategy to it. He, he's stupid. He just fell down the <laughs> hole. Uh, Wonderful. But um, yeah, no, th there is a little bit of strategy to it. You can't just, yeah, like I say, neck can't potions one after the other. Go ham on people. So, so here we go. We kick on to the next area. You're moving on to the next world, but you just unleash some hell on that mm. one. And yeah. You're like, yeah. Bye. I'm not going to deal with these guys. Exactly. Yeah. They're they're weak. But <laughs> this is only the second area, and they're all randomly generated. As you said, um, so they're all different every time, obviously. So different enemies and stuff as well. Although I imagine the enemies are tied to their biome. Yeah, that make, would make sense. Yeah, yeah so the, sense. these are the desert -y enemies, I'm guessing. But even so, like this is your second area, and already I can see a lot more stuff yeah. going on, a lot more resources, different no, absolutely. resources as well. Yeah, so yeah. that's pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, copper ore in the ground, loads of flame rubies all over the place, quite a rich and fertile area for mining uh, materials. Yeah, this looks really cool. And you get an experience there for mining as yep. well as the combat and stuff. So yep, absolutely. you get rewarded for whatever you choose to do. Yeah, almost everything you do is... Uh, do you get it for crafting? Uh, possibly, yeah. I think so. I'm sure we craft some stuff later on. Maybe you'll see. Or maybe you noticed when I crafted the stone pickaxe. I, I, was there XP I then? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it does reward you for doing different yeah. things. And it means that, I guess, each of the gameplay loops itself is yeah. going to be your reward. That's quite nice. Absolutely. But these enemies are way too strong for me right now. Uh, so the sand shells, they're nasty. The greenhorn grunt, he's a nasty sod. And this flamey oh thing. No. So you die, you lose a few coins, a few gold. Uh, that's your penalty. Uh, but you can come back. And I've learnt my lessons. So I'm coming here to get some cotton <laughs> to create some armour. Basic okay. armor, but it's going to help me big yeah, time. You were getting like proper slowed down by those enemies. Yeah, really I was badly. getting smashed, yeah. So, so I could go around getting berries as well to make potions and stuff oh, if okay. I wanted. So it's pretty good then how it allows you to... An emerald parrot. Yeah, there's emerald parrots and blobs around here. That, those are the main enemies. It's kind very, of weak very dragon quest, introductory <laughs> enemies. Yeah, blobs, yeah, they're, they're a lot like um, the slimes. slimes. Yeah. yeah, they are. Um, so yeah, this is me crafting my armor. Look at his weird little feet. <laughs> I, love this. I love the style of it. Yeah, they are cool, aren't they? Very chibi style. So uh, yeah, I've got myself some nice armor now. I got myself a little helmet. I toggled it off because I like my hair. <laughs> but you keep the stats. You do. You keep the stats from having the helmet. You just don't have to wear it if you don't want to. Nice. So uh, yeah, that's a cool little nice touch. And here I am mining some more rubies just this because. Rat following you around is that a friend? He's my little pet. You Aww. get so you get a little pet. So if you're playing the trial version, you'll find that as well, and he can he'll follow you around just constantly. I don't know that he really does anything. But it's nice to have a but friend. But it's nice to have a little yeah, friend, a little yeah. Companionship on your so a, little, a little rat following around. In the real world, a rat following around wouldn't be a good thing. But in this, for some reason, it's, it's, it's kind of be a bit disconcerting, nice. wouldn't it? Yeah, you're like, why is a rat following me around? <laughs> but yeah, there he is. He's your faithful companion. I like the setup of this. I like the presentation of it a lot. I yeah. Think, um, something about it's really good. Nice tight rose textures. Exactly, yeah. It's pretty. I, I do like it. In the hands of the community. Stuff. Well, really Steam Early Access people have had it a little while and they've already built some crazy stuff, I've been told. Um, you know, it's like any Minecraft type game, you know, once the community do get their hands on it, they go crazy and already. Some, absolutely, you know, like the Minecraft Minas Tirith or whatever, or the Game of Thrones map. Yeah. Absolutely. Same in Lego World. Yeah, it's amazing what people can do. But enough time and patience and, and obviously talent. That's and, it. Uh, the talent I'm lacking, right? Yeah, yeah. That, well, it's all, all that stuff. But these guys are quest givers. This guy's just giving me a tip. You saw earlier there was another quest giver. He wanted me to deliver him some copper ore, so I'm coming into this copper mine where there's loads of it. I wonder what's in there. Yeah, loads what's of copper. Maybe? So I I'm just stocking up. In the standard progression, like sort of trees that you get in these games, I assume you use cotton before, then you have wood, and you had your wood and sword still. Yeah. But if once you've got copper, you'll be able to craft stronger weapons. Stronger Absolutely, arrows. yeah. And I imagine there'll be like iron and all that kind of thing, and you, you can end it with mithril, probably, right? So usual, that's you, mithril's usually the the nuts, right? That's that's the ultimate ultimate thing. That's what you want. Uh, so these weird little eye monsters, little bombs. They're, they're a Final Fantasy, aren't they? They do remind me of Final Fantasy the, monsters. The and the floating eye thing. Yeah, they're, they're just like them. Um, so yeah, I found a nice little vein of copper here. 
that's that's what we get the okay. the, the, yeah. There must have a pretty strong algorithm to be able to like kind of generate these worlds and have these kind of like small yeah. little systems in place like that. Either that or it's like a, a really good coincidence that they happen <laughs> to have formed in veins. But no, you're probably right, it's probably algorithms, right? Um, because this mine's obviously, you know, only randomly generated to a point, I would have thought. That's true. I imagine that whenever you go to this world, you'll always have a mine with an archaeological yeah. Yeah. How it looks might differ from place to place. Absolutely. Person. Yeah, and the you know, the network of tunnels might be different. But yeah, we're contending with these hollow knights again. We've got this weird little wormy thing that's borrowed <laughs> through the through the soil it's and like it's a, kicking my ass. A dune worm. So I'm just legging it out of there. Oh well, powerful. The combat seems pretty um if you don't keep up to date with your items and your health and stuff, you can yeah. pretty, get overwhelmed pretty easily pretty early. And you've got you can't be greedy with your you know, you gotta get a few swipes and get out. So in that respect it's kinda of dark soulsy. But I think in a bit we're gonna kick on to something really cool. Oh, nice. Um, I think. Oh, I missed. Oh, I remember. I missed that heart pickup. Didn't I? Oh. Stupid. No, you could really do it at this point. Yeah, as yeah. Well. I like, crafted a torch and everything. It's an impressive kind of draw distance here. It looks, yeah, it looks cool. It's really, it's really. I know it's a quite a simple game. Yeah. But the textures are all work really well, and the kind of the world itself is just it's really nice to realise. Well, there's a level where I was standing on top of a big spire of rock, and I just rotated the camera, and it just looked incredible, really cool. But this now is the co-op split screen. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it's completely different. So wait. this is this is much further into the game. I'm like level 20 odd, 30, something like that. Well, wait, you're the guy on top. I'm the guy on the top, yeah. And you've got a bow. I got a really awesome bow. It's and badass. He's a mage. He's a mage. He's like a he's lightning like a dragoon spear. For Final yeah, Fantasy. he's a beast. Look at those. He's got like lightning ball things, projectiles. Well, this is 100 percent different. Yeah, right. Doesn't it look cool? And also co-op. That's big. That's yeah, co-op is cool. the whole game playable in co-op. I believe so. Uh, I think it's local co-op though. That I works. don't know if there's online. If split screen works. That's, that's split screen's good. That's the kind of thing. No, that's the kind of thing that's like perfect for sitting down with your family, or like your partner, or whatever. And yeah. Yeah, really nice. Working together, building stuff. Yep, taking down absolutely. Like taking down giant bosses. dragon bosses. So yeah, you got to pelt this guy's eggs back at him to um, weaken him. <laughs> And only then you can kind of uh, attack him. See, death there, you lost quite a lot of money. Yeah. Well, the more money you have, the more the bigger the penalty, basically. So it's a percentage-based thing. Yeah. Okay, that makes it some more kind of... Uh, Jeopardy. Yeah, because it yeah. didn't seem so early on, but I guess it's quite good. Absolutely. Before. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, we smacked him with his egg. It's taken off a little bit of health. Now we just got to <laughs> wail on him, basically. Look at that. As much Damn as possible. It, man. Yeah, if you were, like, too low level for this, you'd really struggle. Or it would take you a hell of a long time. Yeah, right. We're not some level because of these little minions. Imagine, imagine being hit out of the air with your own fiery egg. Yeah, it's not a nice way to go down. It's like you, you're not. That's like cheating. I'm, they're supposed to be hitting you. This like, reminds well. me a lot of the Final Fantasy uh, kind of uh, monster hunter game. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy Explorers. Yes. Yeah. The aesthetic of it and this kind of setup. It's really chunky, isn't it? It's got a nice chunky, pleasing chunky. The word. Yeah, feel to it. You know what I mean? Um, when I was looking at the start of the game, it looked okay. I was, I was kind of like, yeah, okay, that's right. This yeah. is selling me on it. It's this, good. This it uh, it was so much fun to do as well. Play. This was our second attempt, actually. We got annihilated the first time. Look at that. you got different um, kind of bows on you as well. So yeah. Elemental affinities, I guess. Absolutely. Really, really cool. And also, um, I played as a mage myself for a while, um, and it's really fun. Uh, well, I think you've got warrior, ranger, and mage classes to choose from. So yeah. I don't know whether you can change once you're down that kind of path. The more you're talking about the more... Uh, actually, a pretty deep RPG. It sounds yeah, like it is. absolutely. Yeah, and more so even than um, Dragon Quest films, and that's kind of what it started so far. Yeah, so yeah, that's, this is doing. This is really. So it's taking all the right boxes for me at this point. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Also, um, yeah, as long as one of you stays alive, by the way, you can defeat this boss together. If you both die, you've you got to start from scratch. Uh, you got yeah, and you've got to be up near these kind of rooms on this platform. So if you both Sort of, you know, if you're not both on that platform, it's over. Okay, cool. So, um, but yeah, that's Portal good. Knights. That's uh, available as a free trial now, and you can put over your progress into the full game when it that's launches. Cool. Like in Europe on May the 19th, and in North America on May the 23rd. So, yeah, if you like what you saw, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching, Cheers, folks. Guys. Cheers. Bye bye.